Port St. Lucy, Fla. Sea monsters do exist. Just ask Jennifer Cameron. On April 16, the Stewart, Florida, angler caught the largest swordfish of her fishing career, weighing in a giant that tipped the scales at 436 pounds. Cameron fished with husband Captain Glenn Cameron, who owns Floridian Fishing Charters docked at Sailfish Marina of Stewart, Florida, and mate Nick Cromasco. Catching a nearly quarter-ton brute like a swordfish is a challenge in and of itself. Doing so while struggling with a 102-degree temperature is something else completely. I wasn't feeling that good that day, a day after I received my second Moderna vaccination for COVID-19, she told TC Palm Treasure Coast Newspapers, part of the USA Today network. But we needed to catch a fish, so I went along. After we boated it, I could feel my fever, went into the cabin and wrapped up in a blanket and slept on the boat ride all the way back into the marina. The reason they were fishing in the first place was because Cameron is one of the lead organizers of the Black Gold Jubilee, an annual spring festival and charity fundraiser celebrated at the Torrey Island Campground in Belle Glade, Florida. One aspect of the event is a fish fry. Cameron wanted to catch a fish large enough to feed scores of attendees, so targeting a swordfish would have achieved that goal. Mission accomplished. Sometimes we get criticized for keeping a fish that large and not releasing it. But we literally provided about 300 pounds of fillets to use for the fish fry and to provide to families in the glades who needed fresh fish, she said. We only kept a few small pieces for our family. She also was able to educate people about the difference between swordfish and marlin, a similar looking fish whose harvest is strictly limited in US waters and that's not sold as a food fish here. Catching this sword almost didn't happen, her husband said. The fish apparently was hooked in the dorsal fin, not in the mouth. We were straight out of the St. Lucie Inlet in 1,650 feet of water and using Bonito Belly as bait, he said. On our first drift, we had a bite but the fish came off pretty quickly. So we pulled up, ran back south, up current, and began our second drift. As soon as Nick put the lines back out, I turned my head and when I looked back at the boy, it had disappeared. That told the experienced anglers two things, the fish was hungry and it was big. One common method to catch swordfish employs the use of a large buoy to keep the bait deployed well away from the boat and at a sufficient depth to catch the attention of a swordfish. They are known to inhabit the dark depths below where sunlight penetrates from the surface, at least 300 feet down. To get the bait down that deep, Cameron used a 13-pound lead weight. He said the buoy didn't surface for a long time. After it did, and they were able to disconnect the lead and retrieve it, the fish came to the surface and jumped. 